Brad. Jeff. How do you like your evil? Um, let's see. Ultimate. Oh, is that the right answer? Is, do you like it ultimate? I was going to say, like, you know, like nicely seasoned. Okay, all like, right. S- s- a little pinch of salt. Yeah, that's some, some fresh ground cracked pepper. You know, that does sound good. Uh, that sounds a little bit better than what we got here. Side of bacon. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. Thank this you. is... This is the ultimate evil. Okay. Edition yeah. of Diablo 3. Okay. Uh, this is the, the, it's it's everything. It's Diablo 3 plus the expansion that came out on PC, Reaper of Souls, all on one disc for consoles. This is the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Okay. Um, who's, and who's this hearty young lass? Uh, this, this is a crusader that I made and then proceeded to plow through the entire campaign with. Nice. Uh, so that we might uh, have more options at our disposal when playing the game. Uh, what, so... That means I've got adventure mode unlocked. Okay. Should I just jump into that? Yeah, because that's the thing that we didn't see when we looked at this on PC. Okay, yeah. A few months ago. So let's go to adventure mode. God, was it just a few months ago? I don't remember. It's all a blur. It was like February, right? Sure. That's more March? than a few months ago, but yeah. That's. Well, it's like five. Five is a few, I think. Okay, yeah, all right. It's almost half a year. Yeah. So I played through on hard, uh, which, despite being called hard, is actually easy. I So <laughs> I should have started a hardcore character because I beat the entire campaign without dying. Okay. On hard. Um, Is there a trophy for that or something? I mean, if I had started a hardcore character, maybe, maybe I don't know. But it would have been cool to finish the game hardcore mode. Um, so I'm going to stick on hard for now. We can, we can always play around with it. Uh, and we'll go into a- adventure mode on Act 2. Adventure mode, for people who, who haven't seen it, kind of strips out the story stuff and lets you kind of just go into areas and fight. It sort of just turns it into an endless treadmill of... Hold, well, you know, I was going to say clicking on stuff, but now we're kind of just holding down the X button. Either way, pretty much what Diablo is all about. Yeah, more or less. So uh, that's the thing, you know, console versions of Diablo. I've got uh, full control on the left stick. They've uh, made the right stick into this roll. I can roll. Yep. You're rolling like a mother. Yeah, I'm, I'm going around. Greetings, Nephilim. I can create a rift. You can create a rift. Is that, is that this guy? This cannot be opened yet. Is that guy like an adventure mode guy? Yeah, yeah, he's an adventure mode dude. Um, so we kind of have everything, we, you know, what we would have here. We've got our, our gem guy. Oh, covetous shin. No. You think it's been too, too long. The object of my search is as- um, so let's look at the interface real quick here. Uh, this is this is how they've done it. You know, they've kind of broken it up into different item types here. Left stick to, to roll around it. Skills are kind of done the same way. You'll see. Yep. Uh, and then on inventory, you've got a, a mark as junk button, basically. And I can push up on the D-pad. Well, I can't really do it right now because I haven't got anything new. But uh, when you pick something up, you can hit up on the D-pad and mark it as junk kind of immediately. Oh, nice. Um, it's clunky in spots. I actually mm. found the the gem stuff to be sort of a hassle in terms of just like, just show me what gems I have. Like, I've got to get in here and, you know, well, now I'm in the combined mode or whatever, but I can filter it to filter by things I can actually do stuff with. So I can make a square ruby. Let's make a square ruby. Done. Nice little um, ruby. Yeah, thank you. Um, and then I can sh- I can see everything I have that has gems socketed into it so that I can remove them and so on and so forth. But, like, the, the kind of the... Some of this stuff is, you know, like I got to go in here, go in here. Okay, well, what, what gems do I have? What, what do I have? Like, they're the things they've done to the interface to make it appropriate for a television make sense because you kind of have to make changes to make it make sense for a television. Uh, but at the same time, I it just made me want to play the PC. It's really. mm. um, not what you want to hear about your port <laughs> console. Um, hopefully, that's a fairly minor thing in the grand scheme. Though. It is. It's not. It's not a huge deal. I mean, you, you know, beat the entire game in the weekend. So, uh-huh. so it must be doing something right. I, I well, you know, I wanted to show adventure mode for this quick look, so, um, so I spent the weekend doing that. Uh, all right, well, let's uh, we can kind of go. Greetings, Nephilim. Though you have defeated many powerful foes, there remains much to be done. This is a map of sanctuary uh-huh. and the realms beyond. Okay. From here, you can select a region to view it in greater detail. Oh yeah, I know. This map displays the different places Pushed you can go X within to go the to hell. <laughs> Locations marked by an exclamation point have bounties for you to undertake. Okay. Bounties are the many tasks at Greetings, Nephilim. Oh, oh god no! damn it! Oh, what have you done? Oh. 
Oh. This is a map of sanctuary. Let me live! Realms beyond. <laughs> From here, you can select a region to view it in greater detail. He's a fallen angel, man. Just let him feel useful. Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah, go ahead. Places you can go within the region. Yeah, what else? Where else? <laughs> Locations marked by an exclamation point have bounties for you to Oh, wait, undertake. what do they have? Bounties for oh, you to bounties undertake. Are the many Great. Tasks they are the many tasks and challenges which require, which require your attention. attention. In return, In return for, for completing them, you, you will, will be rewarded, rewarded with powerful, powerful items. <laughs> Good, Good luck, luck Nephilim. Nephilim. Sanctuary, Sanctuary has need, need of you. I'm glad we cleared all that up. This world is always in peril, my friend. Even places we once believed to be safe. Okay. All right. So this is adventure mode. Yes, this that's, is adventure mode. It gives me places I can go that, okay. uh, uh, you know. Oh, and they've got some bosses in there, it looks like. Yeah, I, I can just go to the spot where the boss below. is and yeah, and do that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, so you know, different bounties for different parts of the game. Let's uh, clear the mysterious cave. That sounds all right. That sounds like a bounty right there. Let's go there. Plenty of caves out there. What need clearing? Might as well start, you know, checking them off the list. Yeah. All right, kill all enemies in mysterious cave level two. Well, first, we've got to get to mysterious cave level one. Uh, how do you like the Crusader? Uh, Crusader's fun. Yeah. Uh, it's really easy. <laughs> like I don't know. Like I thought Barbarian was was an easy way to play the game, but like I just I'm just crushing everything. Um, how would you describe it? Is it sort of is it basically a Paladin type class? Yeah. Like yeah. A, more a, or less. A tanky Healy type. Well, it's not really a Healy. Hmm. Um. It's more of just I can call down a lot of light attacks and, okay. you know, this big beam from the sky that I'm using to kill this demon. And I've got, it's a it's a sword and shield. Uh, mm. It's a one-hander kind of okay. class as okay. opposed to the barbarian being kind of more more two-handy. Got it. Uh, Forgotten Ruins, that's not where I want to go. I could go there, but... Uh, yeah, of course, there's nothing here. All right. Uh, but yeah, I've been focusing on stuff that, you know, like increases attack speed and, you know, I've, I've got one of my passives, I think, increases my critical chance by like 20%. So, like, some of these attacks, like, I'm, I'm just one-shotting tons of stuff. Like, every boss in the game, like, I was playing on hard. And, you know, it's like, it's not like Diablo 3 ever was a difficult game. I mean, obviously, you know, the, the, with the rebalancing they did, you can make it really hard. Sure. Um, but I feel like they should have, like, changed the names of all their difficulties at that point, because, like... There's nothing hard about hard, right? <clears throat> there were only two bosses where I had to like actually think, and occasionally. So, so I picked up that thing you see in the in the corner there. It tells me that thing sucks. You know, this thing sucks. I can push up on the D-pad and then I can equip it, oh, wow. drop it, or just go. No, that's junk. Junk. And that thing's junk too. Um, and then you know it's kind of a one-button sell when I get back to town, right? The difficulty thing is kind of like going to the movie theater and ordering the small soda, and it's like 32 ounces. Yeah. You know? Like, the thing is actually the opposite of the label that you put on it. Uh-huh. Whoa. Shield is yellow. That shield, yeah, that's well, got, shield you know, looks pretty good. It might be a decent shield yeah. for. Well, let's, let's just go look here. So we can get in here. We can hit compare and kind of really look at it if we want to strip it down that way. That has a lot more armor. It does, uh, but you see, my armor, my defense actually goes down hmm. uh, because it has no vitality on oh, it. Oh yeah. So you know, I'm going to lose life as a result. Hmm. Um, well, gain 30 life per wrath spent. Actually, that you know. Uh, that's kind of a toss-up, but let's see. Is this? Oh, it's a Crusader shield. Okay. Well, well, I mean, I, I could. Otherwise, I was going to say I could try to give it to the, the uh, no, the follower. The follower. Here's the real question: What does it look like? When I wear it, you yeah. mean? I don't know. It looks like that. Way better. Mm. Uh, I think you should roll with it. Also, you could sock it at gym. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to sock it anything that you know that's strong enough to account for. Uh, let's see. 15% uh, smite damage. Am I actually using smite? I'm not. Hmm. Oops. 
Well, let's see if the follower can benefit from this shield. Not real. Eh, eh, kinda. Not, eh. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm, nope. Not having it? Not having it. Oh, that shield looks so much cooler. Well, so, I mean, I am returning to town. we can solve that problem, too. Okay. With something they added in the expansion. Uh, when she is the enchanter. Oops. What? Yeah. Uh, so we can go to our shield here okay. and transmogrify what? it what? to give it a different look. No way. How do you like that one? That's ridiculous. How do you like that look? That's, well, hang on, let's see. Oh, that one's got a skull on it. It does have a big skull on it. Oh, that one at the bottom was pretty cool. It's really, is... it's really big. Yeah. Let's get that. Yeah. That shield means business. Yeah. So what, what did you, what was consumed for that? Just gold? Yeah, just 500 gold. That's it? Yeah, you can just, you know, redesign the looks of your <laughs> stuff. And you unlock different looks as you wow. level up the the enchanter. That works for anything? Yeah. Like, go to your weapon. Actually, yeah. I think your, your helmet is a little, I'm not, you know what, I'm not trying to pass judgment here or anything, but. I like the helmet, it's weird looking. I think you're, yeah, I agree, and I'm not super comfortable weird, with it. a cool fucking weird helmet. It's like, it's like made out of bones. It's like a cowl. Yeah, and there's just like um, bones stuck in it. Whoa, that thing has horns. Or try a couple more. Wow. Huh. Various crowns and cowls and... Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, is, like, in, in this game, like, I, I... You never get attached to loot. Yeah. So I never ever really want to care about this stuff because it's just like, oh, I found another helmet. It's like, am I going to go back and pay to make that helmet look like the way I want it to look, too? Like, right. I, I just... I just don't... I don't care. Sure. <laughs> Um, and I mean, you can also enchant stuff that to kind of re-roll some of the properties on it. Right. Uh, like, maybe this belt has something we want to get rid of. Eh. Mm. No. I actually like that belt. Stuff seems pretty good. Bullcathos. Mm, nah. But we can we can at least go in and say like oh well you know maybe I don't want this physical resistance what can, oops 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 oh, and what can I replace it with? It'll show you potentially what might what I might be able to replace it with. It's, it's a little random, but you do get to pick, um, you know from from a small subset of these things when you hit go. And it consumes some of your crafting materials and some money as well. Yeah. Oh, mats. Um, yes, mats. Uh, so now we've got our cool shield out here. Yeah. Doing cool yeah. shield stuff. Serious shield. This version seems to run fine, although I guess it's not really saying a whole lot. Uh, yeah, there's some occasional frame rate stuff. Really? Uh, yeah. You know, huh. when when guys are getting blown apart and and stuff's happening, it, it, it's it, it minor but noticeable. Yeah. Huh. Because you know, obviously they uh, they had this game up and running on the last gen consoles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would have thought this one would be totally smooth. Of course, I'm sure it's totally good and playable. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they did say that both versions are 1080 on the new, new machines. Yeah, that's probably true. It's, you know. I would hope. It's not that taxing of a game. Yeah. I thought it was pretty nice. I think parts of it were kind of dark for huh. me. Where, you know, it was like just playing it on a television in kind of a brighter room as opposed to like the dark cave where PC games are played. Uh, you know, there were definitely some spots where I was like, I can't really see shit. Uh, you know, they let you adjust the gamma for that sort of mm, stuff. Yes. All right, we've got an arrow kind of telling us where the mysterious cave is. Man, it's easy to just let your brain disengage when you're watching somebody play Diablo. Oh, yeah. I mean, Holy you think it's shit. easy to disengage when you're watching, you should try playing. Yeah. Wow. It's like, it's one of the, it's it's That's... a really great podcast video game. Yeah. Of just like, well, I want to listen to this podcast, and it sure would be nice if I had something to do that, you know, kept me from just, like, staring at a speaker while I'm listening to this. <laughs> um, but also required no thought whatsoever. Yep. That's Diablo 3 on hard. Hmm, okay, <laughs> that's good to know. 
Still don't know if I could get behind a hardcore character though, because I mean, presumably, at some point, you're gonna go up against a difficulty that might actually. Well, I mean, you know, you, you choose what difficulty you well, want to go into. I mean, you... I know, but at that point, it's either like, it's either take forever to level up to seventy, or you know, like, like what are you yeah. doing, really? Yeah, totally. Well, or, or more to the point, you know, it's, at some point you have to decide. All right, do I want to go up against this difficulty level that might lose me my character? Right. Or do I want to just yeah, stop playing? Yeah. Well, you know, trip on this then. Okay. Uh, I. I haven't tested this out, but I don't believe that these characters are stored server side like they are on the PC. Are you sure? Well, I may be right. I had to transfer a save. I had yeah. to upload it, uh, you know, to like standard kind of PS4. Okay. You know, upload to cloud, download to, to bring my save in here to the office. Huh. Um, so you could just back the save up potentially? Yeah, you probably could. Of course, at that point, why are you even playing hardcore? Yeah, that's a good point. You know, to get a trophy, I guess, probably is, yeah. is the answer there. Yeah. That's another uh, good-looking shield. That shield actually looks all right. Mm, yeah. I might, uh, well, we're going to sell this one, because fuck that shield. But this other one that is just slightly up and slightly down, that might be a, a slightly better move. Did you just sell in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, there, there was a there's a, a merchant here oh, for oh, some oh, reason, okay. just hanging out. Uh, yes. So let's see what's up with this. Okay, so it's more of that, more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I lose, I lose three percent life bonus. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not using phalanx, so that doesn't matter. I wonder if I could re-roll that property. You know what? I actually want to know. Sorry, we're gonna go back to town. I'm gonna see if I can change that property to be something I'm actually using. Which, what am I using? Ideally, I would get something that's on slash. Uh, enchant. Uh, shield. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that, that could be one of the other ones here. Oh, let's do that. Uh, okay, so select. Phalanx damage. Go. Processing. I could stick with phalanx damage. 10% <laughs> punish damage. I'm not using punish either. Hmm. But 32 life per wrath spent is pretty good. Yeah. So let's uh, go with that. How much wrath are we talking for a typical ability? Uh, like, uh, it could be 20, 30. Oh, wow. 25. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty significant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, that's better than what I had. And I could re-roll it again, you know, if I want to just keep the... But you, once you pick a property, you see I can I can only re-roll that property. Ah. You can only do one per item. So. Oh, so you can never re-roll one of the others. Right. Okay. Um... I was gonna sell. That's a tiny merchant. Yep. Okay. Lorab, I haven't heard. Going between town and stuff like town, like portaling and stuff like that, like really fast. Yeah. Like I, I was pretty impressed with with that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice load times. Yeah. Not ready. So these frozen, those frozen balls are why I used the roll. Uh, is to try to keep from freezing, like try to roll out of the way of that mm. stuff before it blows up. Yes. And I think the roll might give you, like it has some frames on it or something th that make you invincible or less likely to get hit by th that frozen stuff. I think it does have a benefit, it's not just a fancy way to move. Has a mysterious chest right there. Man, you're just a washing shields. Yeah, I, you know, you have to wonder. Like, I remember going through a cave yesterday, and at the bottom of it was a chest that had three magic belts in it. <laughs> Someone just like, I got these belts. Are these fucking belts? What I got? I can put these belts somewhere. I'm gonna put them at the bottom of this cave. My uh -oh. belt cave. You might need a magic belt for every occasion. Yeah, you might. You know. Uh, down on the D-pad, pull up a map. Kind of surprised to see you rolling with a follower, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah. Why? I thought you hated having AI guys running around with you. I mean, they... they Much like I do. Well, I, so I, I all of his uh, abilities, I chose the ones that just heal me. Ah, okay. So I'm just like, whatever, I, I don't give a fuck <laughs> about you. <laughs> just <laughs> forget that he's there. Yeah, totally. Uh, I mean, you can't. You know, you have no control over him. Yeah, I, think, I know. So it's yeah. just... I mean, I ended up using the followers in this game, too. Yeah. Because they're, they're kind of too useful not to. 
Yeah, yeah. Like you're you're really just kind of screwing yourself by not. It's not like there's any any trade off benefit. Right, you're not losing out to by leave, to leaving them behind. You appear to be fast. I'm moving uh, I think a pretty good clip. I, I got little, little trails mean, I, right? Yeah, I got some stuff equipped also. That's you know kind of all right. So this is where we need to kill all the enemies. You ready to watch me hold down the X button a bunch? Uh huh. Okay. Wait, what? What would you say? Huh. Treasure guy. Oh, murder that little loot gnome. Die, you fucker. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Menacing shelter. Flooding band. Square diamond. Get out of here. I'm looting stuff. Just fuck off. Seriously. Buckle accolade. That's better than... Than, uh, than everything I got, but... I do use slash, so I'd lose 9% slash damage. But maybe that arrow takes that into account. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll junk that. Not yet. I'm just gonna watch these guys melt. Just there you go. All right. That was a massacre. Yeah. I like the stuff they did to this game in the uh, the expansion. Yeah. Like, some of the stuff about, like, oh, you smashed seven items, and now you get a speed bonus for 40 seconds. Just, like, like just weird shit like that huh. that I don't think was in the main game. Yeah. Maybe, maybe when they maybe don't need the expansion. Maybe it's the patch they put out right. at the same time, but... Um, Not enough wrath. This fucker moves, man. Yeah. But he's dead, and I got Vanguard immunity, another item I will happily junk and sell. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a bunch of shit. That's the thing. Like, I found myself wishing that it would just spit out fucking... Like, you, you, there should be a toggle where it's like, spit out money or spit out materials. Uh, that's what I'm doing with all this stuff. Like, sure. The inventory management is not exactly fun, and they've simplified the, you know, is this item for me, yes, no stuff uh, so much since Base Diablo 3 came out that, you know, like, okay, well, that's boots that are up and up, so I probably just want to equip it, but... But gain up to 28% increased movement speed based on the amount of life missing is kind of cool. Also, Iron Toe Mud Sputters. Pretty great name for boots. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on switching, but I might re-roll the property on these boots that I just picked up and, and maybe use them after the fact. Command Exploit. Mutiny Pursuit. That's a good name for a pair of pants. Yeah, yeah, no sockets, but I'm still doing better, even just because of the, the increase. Yeah. Level 51 Pants. Hulk poise. Uh, all right, so we cleared this area, so now I can actually like just get out and go to another zone. So that's like bounty collected for this area. So you don't have to go talk to anybody. Nope, it's just like, like go. Just... So I, I can kind of what what do I gotta do? I, I gotta um go back to the map here and see bounty complete. Oh okay. So you know to get like a Haradric cube or get this reward here that it's just showing me the bottom right. I need to go complete bounties in every area. Just finish everything on this map? Yeah, basically just clear all these exclamation points. What is that cube? Is that basically just a treasure chest? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and if you get enough cubes, you can use it to get to secret, you know, d different areas and stuff. You can talk to that ghost, and he'll take you places. I remember this place. Um, do you know if uh, if you clear that whole map out, does it just refresh it and let you do everything again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it might not in the same session, but, you know, every time you start up, it's just like, all right, you're starting a bounty from scratch. Right. So this is one of the boss fights from the game. Fades out for cutscene, then goes, ah, no, we don't need no, that. That's right, yeah. No. You were messing that thing up. Yeah. I got some blood shards for completing that bounty. And we got Commander's Denial, some Sprinting Crushers, and then yet another shield that sucks. Uh, 
uh, yeah, so that's that's that bounty. I need to go back. Um, would you be able to check out the adventure mode in the new act? Yeah. Um, I haven't seen a ton of the just the like level design and art from the expansion. Yeah, we'll go adventure mode, act five. Let's take it up to expert. All right. What's the level cap now? 70? Okay. I think. Did you, uh, did you mess with the character import stuff at all? It didn't work. Okay. Because uh, I, I haven't played enough of... Like, I'd played the 360 version. So they say they're allowing 360 to PS4 and, moves. And, yeah, and vice, and vice versa. versa. Yep. Um, well, not vice versa, not PS4 to 360. Or no, no. But, no, but yeah. PS3 Sorry. to Xbox. Yes. Um... But, uh, yeah, you'd have to put that disc in and go and export yeah, you have the to, save yes. or some process. <clears throat> it's like, you know what? I don't want to hook up a 360. I don't really care. Yeah, it does. It does take some work if you haven't already exported your character. Yeah. Um, what's this guy got to say? He's just like... It's still cool they put it in, though. Like, that's not, that's not a feature you see very often. Yeah, you know, I guess, you know, if they... If they if I'm right and they are storing characters locally in this version of the game, I understand why they wouldn't just pull in your PC character, but I wish that there was at least an import from PC. God, I know. Um, just because I've played that version so much, like, at this point, like, it would be nice to just pull that character over yep. and keep going. You I, know? Would, I would love to get my monk from the PC and just um, play the new the new act. Yeah, yeah. So let's, uh, let's go to Westmarch Commons and do the Miser's Will, I guess. Choose the correct chest in the miser's hovel. Oh man, I wonder what this is. Hmm. All right, I'm taking more damage. That's it's harder. Well, but I feel like playing through on hard. I probably use like six potions the entire <laughs> game. Huh. Oh, this is, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually probably gonna die. Wow. Yeah, your Templar's not doing so hot either. Ah, fuck him. Alright, let's charm some of these guys. Fucking health link, man. It's a massacre! My wrath is, low. is wrath one of those things you generate by attacking? Or? Uh, you generate by attacking, it also okay. refills up oh, okay. uh, when you're not in combat, so okay. it's not like a... It's not rage. You don't okay. have to build it up in combat. Uh, but I mostly am only using abilities that uh, that don't that work on cooldowns instead of requiring wrath. Hmm. There's really only my L2, this this little shield bash thing that uses uh, that consumes wrath uh, because it does like quite a lot of damage. So I just kind of built around that. Seemed like it was the best uh, best move here. All right, choose the correct chest. I don't know how this will work. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's. To my sniveling offspring. If you are reading this, then I am dead, and you have come to claim my fortune. Well, you still can't have it. I have set traps to stop you from even trying. So, enjoy the rest of your poor, miserable, and cowardly lives. Well, that wasn't very helpful. No, not at all. I thought that maybe there would be some kind of, like... Like a riddle or something? Yeah. Um... Do they all have the same name? They're all resplendent. I wonder if it's just a matter of, like, opening the wrong chest just sets off a trap. Yeah, and, just it try is, the and there, there's a bonus for picking on the first try. Mm. Which one do you think? I'm thinking th I was thinking this one. Okay, sure. What? Wow. All right. Well, okay, then. <laughs> what do we got? Pathfinder's Chokes. Stone Stand. Square Emerald. Insightful Spatha of Malice. Nice ruby. All right, that's that bounty. That was a quest. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's there's stuff in this version that I guess is uh, is new, 
um, that is kind of like socially minded. There's a mailbox. Hmm. Okay. Um, and occasionally I found items that were just gifts, just wrapped up, and I said, this is a gift for player name, and it already had like another player that was playing the game. Huh. And so I could just hit a button to send it, and then I got one from Patrick. I think he was well, playing it. What happens if you um, create mail here? How does that? It shows me that. Have you played the game? I had fired it up very briefly. Okay. All right. Yeah, so it shows me the four people on my friends list that have played this game, and I can send them stuff. Okay. Oh, so it's just sending items. Yeah. You're not, like, typing out messages nope. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, you're just sending items, I think. Um, and then there's something, you know, the, the paperwork that came with the game mentions something called a nemesis system where it's, like, players that, are, that get killed, like, there'll be something in your game that denotes what killed them, and you can get a bonus for going and killing some monster, or, huh. you know, whatever it is. Right. Um, but I haven't seen any of that uh, in here, so I'm not really sure what form that takes, considering that, you know, that I haven't died yet. Uh, yeah, uh, we're about, what, about a week out from this shipping? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's out, it's out uh, yeah. It's, oh, I want to say, I think they said some of that stuff isn't active until... Right, yeah, and also, you know, if, if no one has died yet, then... Yes. You look like you could use a new item of, uh, indeterminate usable. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, we can, uh, we can just use our blood shards here, 15 blood shards for a weapon. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be good, I guess, but I don't have enough uh, blood shards to actually do anything. Five for a shield, so, you know, 15 for a ring. Mystery boots! So the blood shards are only from adventure mode? Yeah, they, they come from bounties, specifically. Okay. Um, and so you can kind of spend them there at that at that merchant to, to get more stuff. So yeah, you know, I like what they did with the expansion and when they added the adventure mode, when they added some of this other stuff, like, like, like uh, I think that's all good stuff. Um, I will say though that like the, the campaign is really jarring. Hmm. If you think about it, like, you know, it was a four act game um, that then they uh, added this fifth act to for, uh, you know, the, the, the expansion. Here now, it just rolls from Act Four right into Act Five. Oh, oh like you <clears throat> and like you see the ending of the game proper. Well, there's kind of no ending in the game. Well, and there's so a cinematic there, there's something? a cinematic, yeah. yeah, there there is, but it doesn't have. It just doesn't feel like it has any weight because then it rolls right into oh well now I'm in this other area and it's like well it, you know it feels like they don't necessarily convey that time has passed. Ah. Uh, appropriately, <clears throat> so it's just it feels really weird. And then when I finished Act Five, like you just go to you know, you know the next thing that has a uh, an exclamation point on it. And it says like, "Do you want to go to the main menu?" Yes. And then that's it. You know, uh -huh. there's there's an ending cinematic, but it's like this really, I don't know. The, the the campaign just comes across as really anticlimactic with the way that it it's it handles the kind of the, the transitions. And I'm sure the PC version probably does the same thing. Right. Uh, it was just, you know, on, on the PC, we played the campaign, like, whatever it was, a year ago. Um, uh, two years two ago. Two years ago, yeah. And then, you know, are coming to Act 5 after the fact. So I think, you know, for, for new players coming in and, and just playing all the acts, like, it, the the pacing of the campaign might just seem really weird. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, at the same time, Diablo has always had that weird compartmentalized video gamey kind of feel to it. Yeah. You yeah. know, the, the way people do like ball runs or whatever, you know, like just right. play, playing the same mission or boss over and over and over. At a certain point, I always get the sense nobody cares like what the storyline is or how the levels are even arranged or connected to each other. Yeah. Because yeah. people are just in here to kill shit and pick up more loot. Yeah, and that's that's it's it's definitely structured in a way that that is conducive to that. So, you know that that's fine. It's just a little weird. Yeah. I wonder if they'll uh, make another expansion or if they're done. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I mean, it's I think like Diablo two only had the one expansion. Right. Uh, but you know, it doesn't mean they have to do things exactly the same way. Yeah. Uh, just considering how many copies this damn game sold. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I feel like, you know, th there are things in the in Act 5 that are definitely built to make good on things that are mentioned in passing mm. in the in the main game. Um, and there's not a lot of that left. So, yeah. You know, I mean, they, they certainly could just go like, hey, we made another tile set and fuck it. Right. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I bet they don't. Yeah. When you put it that way, that... 
Sounds more likely. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's Diablo. It is the ultimate in evil. Yeah. Uh, I think it's it's well made. Like it, it's fun. Um, you know, I, I think it looks nice, but at the same time, like I, I don't feel like it's like, some graphical showpiece or anything right. like that. But you know, it's not flashy about it. It's just a a good looking game, and you know, it's it's fun to play. I think the controller stuff works works pretty well, and you know, there's some little things here and there about the interface when it comes to you know navigating your items that. I think are clunky, but are probably necessarily clunky because, you know, they have to make this stuff work on a controller. Uh, but I do, th I, I, I think the PC version is the way to play the game. I yeah. Mean, you know, the, the big surprise there, I guess. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Th this is a fine substitute for yeah. people who, who, for whatever reason, can't or won't play it on the PC. Um, but I know. if you're going to play Diablo, I, I still think that's that's the way to play it. Yeah. Put a damn mouse in your hand. I agree. Uh, but so you can't go true. like this. No, that's true. Uh, you know, some people don't want to sit at a desk to play games. Sure, yeah. If you yeah, want to sit and hang out on a couch. Um, if you want to roll. If you especially, wanna just, woo, also, like you know, especially a local co-op is, is, a, is a big kind of selling point for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. If you want to hang out with your significant other or something. Sure. And just kill a bunch of stuff, like this is probably a good way to do it. Yeah, you can you can both hold down X and you know, <laughs> yep, and just kills just everything. I only got eight more things to kill for this bounty. Might as well get it done. Might as well get it done. It's a cool looking area. I hadn't seen much of the expansion. Yeah, either, I, I like, like the I, I like the art in the expan in the expansions. It's kind um, of nice and like gothic looking. Did you ever see the um, the battering ram? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's all I'll say about it. It's it's probably. It's it's a pretty cool thing they put in this uh, they put in the in this act. Is it something story related? Uh, like sure. Yeah, it's it's a visual encounter? thing that you're just like, whoa, what the fuck? Okay. Like it's it's a it's a really cool. All right. Little that, thing. That, that, I'll have to play through this expansion then. Yeah, it's it's, it's worth seeing. You know. It's, can you? Uh, I don't I don't guess you can just pick any act you want, right? You have to play through everything in order. You have to play through everything in order the, the first, first time. time. Yeah. Um, Rift ah. Keystone Fragment. I just got so. That's uh, you need one of those to, or you need those to start opening rifts to the harder levels mm. and other stuff. So, so yeah, that's another bounty completed. I need to go back. I need to go back. All right, you need to go back. I'm gonna go back. Go back. Thanks, Brad.